this question, we've got an equation with a third in. How are we going to solve it to get what x is? Well, it's not dissimilar to something like 2x equals 7. Here we would divide 3 by 2 to give us 7 over 2. So here, I need to divide 3 by kind of what's timesing by the x. I need to divide 3 by 3 minus root 5, so it becomes 24 over 3 minus root 5. Um, and that's my answer to start with, but actually I'm being asked to simplify it in the form to the form a plus b root 5. It's not that at the moment. This turns into a rationalizing the denominator question because at the moment I've got an irrational denominator and I need to make it rational. I need to basically get rid of it, sort this out. So what I can do is I can just write it out again. I can multiply through by 3 plus root 5. I basically, it's the same thing, but I just change the sign around. So I have to times top and bottom by this, so I'm not actually changing the fraction. Put these into brackets now, and basically put it all over this, uh, you know, this denominator. And I've got, I just need to simplify the fraction. So I'm going to get 24 times 3, that's going to be 72, plus 24 root 5. I could even, do you know what, it might make sense to not simplify it quite yet. Um, I'm just going to leave it, I think, as 24, 3 plus root 5, just in case there's any factors that cancel out with the 24. And then here, I've got a double bracket, so I do 3 times 3 is 9. I do 3 times root 5, but then I do minus root 5 times 3, which is minus 3 root 5, and these cancel. That is the entire reason why I multiplied by that. And then I'm going to minus 5. This is looking good. So now I've got 24, 3 plus root 5, all over 4. And in fact, yes, it paid to not expand it because this these are going to cancel partially. Cancel out that 4 partially with the 24 to just leave me the 6. And that's going to give me 18 plus 6 root 5, which is going to be my final answer.